Okay guys, I'm going to take you through this controller. Uh, I've got line voltage here, neutral, three phases. Then I've got uh, uh, hall ground, hall power 5 volts. Two halls are, are used, either A or B or B or C. I'm using B and C. Uh, the pot goes from ground this is ground, along with the enable goes to ground, that's the third pin up. And then the last two are the, uh, the common is the white one, and then the black is the outside of the pot. And uh, the uh, this guy here, the handheld plugs in at the top. An RJ45 connector. Now if I press the mode it shows me the A. Now if I want to go you can, I can pick any one I want to work on. So it's A, C is current, the A was for speed, this I'm not sure I just keep it off. Uh, F is for the acceleration in other words I use two seconds as the motor starts. Uh, H is the halls. I use three, uh, and then but you can try six or eight or four or five. It'll, it'll only do eight max. The L is for closed loop or open loop. If you use open loop, that means it's uh, not going to regulate the speed with the load applied. And with the load, and when it when it's uh, closed loop, you put your hand on the on the on the rotor it'll compensate for your pressure. Uh, P is square wave and sine wave. I think square wave is on. Uh, and U is the number of poles and that's where I select the three. Now what you do is you can you uh, select the one you want to change and then once you've changed it with this this key out here will, will increment the number of poles and the, this one and this one are for the off and on and once you've established what you want here hit the enter and then then you can go on to the next the next selection when you're all done uh, you hit the escape and that returns you back to the normal and uh, I found out that this pot will only give me 85 RPMs and uh, this pot up here will give me, uh, with the 5K, gives me uh, 256 max. And it'll go a lot faster than that. And uh, because my original PC board, uh, so I'm going to back this thing out here. And uh, I'm going to turn the pot here and get it going. It'll give you a little jerk at the beginning. Now the reading on this is bogus. Now the current that it takes to run this thing at the 256 RPMs is uh, let me get a meter going here. Now this is the line in and this is point point one seven point one seven one six one seven amps so that's about 160 170 mils the voltage now my coils are I've got groups of four I've got 24 to 22 to 20 to 18 those four coils are in series and what I'm getting on the scope is I don't know if you can see this, but whatever. Uh, the scope shows uh, channel 2 and channel 1. These are uh, the 24. These are the four evens. And I've got the two. I've got a dual coil. So there's two, two probes here, one for each set. And uh, I'm getting uh, 40, 45 to 50 volts peak. 
and then about 96 peak to peak for each of these sets of coils here. And uh, it's interesting that when it goes up, it doesn't make a real sine wave. It, it shows you a dip in the middle. That's the hole. That's the actual hole in the, in the, in the, in the magnetic field. It says it's changing. And uh, so that's kind of interesting. Anyway, so this is this would be a north north pole with a dip, and then another then the, then the other side is the north, and then it goes down to the south pole and there's a dip, and uh, it doesn't matter. So it's, these are these waveforms. What my goal is is to take the 50 volters and put like oh get use these in series, and hopefully get my one point uh, my 170 mils to run to run this beast. So let's turn it off, and uh, so I can just turn the pot down. And now it's got it's got no power to the motor at all. But but the amount of mass in here with the uh, with the rotors is because there's quite a bit of mass in here. Okay. So I've got uh, I've got one one two three magnetic rotors and then two sets of coils so there's 96 coils total and uh, it's uh, getting interesting uh, the top two boards here are the hull the fill and dump boards I've got to adjust the pots on those and get those running I gotta change some caps also and uh, but they they have worked in the past so that, that's okay and uh, Anyway, that's where we are. Anyway, uh, I'll show you another picture of this beast. And uh, maybe zoom around it a little bit here so you can see the setup. And I've got my three phases here. My halls are over here. And that's it. Anyway, have a good one.